Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I am looking at building myself a force field. Now, with the introduction of the engines actually causing damage, so we got thrusters that when they actually impact, they burn and dissolve the ground below, like so. It's really simple. All they do is just burn the ground below them due to the thrust, and I guess the heat actually comes from it and it does a considerable amount of damage. Now, everyone is in fear of the rammer. The rammer, a player that will basically ruin your day by ramming into your ship. Well, I think I've generated a counter for this, and it is in a form of a force field using the thrusters. So what we're looking at here is a wall of small ship thrusters, and what I'm doing is basically powering them and when they're powered, they have the ability to basically repel or stop an object from penetrating or even damaging up close and personal to them. So what Tazu here is trying to do is he's trying to get his ship in a position to actually ram it. We're doing very slow tests at the minute, but we soon speed them up. And originally we thought the only way that this would actually work if there was is someone in the cockpit. But the cockpit got destroyed because of Tazu's thrusters. So, what actually ended up happening was something very interesting. So I was sitting in this cockpit and I forgot the landing gear wasn't properly attached. And when I thrusted, my cockpit of course broke off. But now this is what's interesting, I'm not actually thrusting here. But the thrusters still managed to repel his ship. And now that got me thinking. So I don't actually need to man this. So we said, right, double the speed and we'll see how much damage you actually do because there's not much damage being done and that is only a small ship so a small ship should be snapped in two with a large ship ramming it so we do it again and basically it just stops it dead and i was absolutely amazed i mean there was a little bit of lag and there was a little bit of damage but after 40 50 rams there was still no penetration and i started to think to myself right we're really onto a winner here so we need to figure out a way of mounting it onto a ship because he just couldn't get through it. And on a large ship like that, traveling at the speeds that he was doing then, should damage it. Obviously, we're losing thrusters over time, and at least it would basically stop that initial ram anyway. He just he just couldn't get through, and it just purely amazed me. After about 50 or 60 attempts, though, we ended up with this mess. Now, this was what happened was the ship went into it, it clipped through it, and then it cut it in half four times. So the ship ended up in half four times. So even if he did penetrate into here, he would have a rather strange mess on his hands. Anyway, we moved on to a little bit of a different concept. We thought about a tire stinger in space. Like the police use them to stop criminals or cars by popping all the tires out. So we thought we could use these thrusters to just simply stop a ship maybe dead in its tracks, maybe build some sort of like anti-fishing net. So we stop all the ships coming through, so you could deploy it maybe behind an asteroid, the ships coming past, you quickly get it out, a good pirating weapon, I mean obviously it's quite complicated in design, but maybe if you like sort of, sort of solve the initial sort of design issues, you could have a really uncomplicated sort of design, maybe just even a wall of thrusters that you could just quickly deploy on the side of a ship maybe. So we were trying to get this into position, and obviously chains in this game are a little bit hard to fight with, and each individual thruster is on one of them little platforms, and we're just trying to get it above and into position, so then we can swoop around and lock it in place. And originally the idea was quite sound, it sounded like it could work, but the problem was, is there was not enough pressure going to be applied to the actual ship, so the ship would actually have to try to move thrust out of it to actually get our thrusters to work. And what I did notice though is as we were pulling down the thrusters were not actually trying to stop us like I was expecting. I was expecting as we were pulling the actual thrusters down, the thrusters would be trying to say, hey stop, what the, what the hell are you doing? And basically be pushing against us so it'd be even harder. But that didn't happen for some strange reason and they just basically sat there and that really let this second concept down. But the original idea when mounted to a ship became very profitable or you could say very with the ability to stop ramers, rammers from actually destroying your ship so we got this to a prototype stage and i'd really like to hear your ideas your concepts and maybe even ways of solving some of the initial teething issues we've got with this concept so hopefully i gave you some interesting ideas and some inspiration and i'd like to see what you guys come up with so make sure you comment below and i'll see you next time